how to choose the best loungewear when you are working from home for a long period of time. When I wake up, what I put up in the morning is critical in how I feel all day. If I'm wearing something that makes me feel feminine and beautiful, I feel productive, I feel positive, I feel energized by that all day. Today's video, I will walk you through the several essential pieces in my closet, a loungewear capsule. My name is Chi, welcome to my YouTube channel. You're watching Petite Dressing. If you are new to my channel, I am 5 foot 2. I upload videos every week. I am a petite blogger. I talk about petite fashion style tips, anything in fashion that short women are interested in. When you have to work from home, your options are more than just sweats. In the past several weeks, since I have to be at home all the time, so I wanted to share with you several tips so that you can find your best loungewear. Now, what I want to mention is that all the pieces I'm going to show you today, they're all existing pieces in my closet. I didn't have to spend any money to purchase anything new. These are all comfortable loungewear that I have purchased before. Actually, I can wear them both at home and when I go somewhere. Take a look at your closet and look at what you already have. You really don't have to spend any, any money to purchase anything new. First, I want to go over with you some of my criteria when I'm choosing the loungewear. First of all, I want to make sure the loungewear is comfortable. Everybody knows that. That's number one criteria. Because you want to make sure you're sitting at home a long time or you're walking around the house or you have to wear them to do some chores around the house when you want to play with your kids in the yard, for instance, or throw a ball in the yard. You want to make sure you're able to do that. That's the right clothing you can wear. And second of all, I am obsessed with fabrics. Loungewear needs to be comfortable and the key part of something making you feel comfortable to me is the fabrics. Because I have sensitive skin, I want to make sure they have at least 50% of natural content such as cotton or cashmere or wool. That's my criteria. In general, fabrics with a higher content of natural fabrics are more comfortable to our skin. And number three, when you're choosing loungewear, they don't have to be baggy. That's a common misconception about loungewear. You, when you are talking about loungewear, the first thing that comes to mind is probably sweats. And then after that, you think about something really baggy and shapeless. But it doesn't have to. As a matter of fact, when I'm making this video, when I was going through my closet and checking my clothes, I noticed that I don't own any single piece that's baggy. So that's something I noticed. But that doesn't mean if they're not baggy, that doesn't mean they're uncomfortable. So that's what I'm trying to show you today that when you are wearing something at home, they can still be fitted. And in fact, when I wear something that's fitted, I feel like I'm more put together and I'm in a better mood and I'm more productive for the day. That's what I'm, I want to share with you before I start to go through piece by piece. First of all, of course, a sweatshirt. You have it. I'm sure everybody is wearing sweatshirts on weekends or when we are at home, working from home sometimes. So my criteria of wearing a sweatshirt is I don't wear a sweatshirt with a sweatpant. When I wear a sweatshirt with a sweatpant, that give me the look and the feel of a college dorm. That's fine, once in a while, but I want something more sophisticated. sophisticated. Like I said, I want an outfit I can wear at home that makes me feel feminine, beautiful, fashionable, and chic, even if I'm at home. So if I just wear a sweatshirt with sweatpants, 
It's for sure comfy, but it doesn't serve the other purposes. So that's my reason when, if I'm wearing a sweatshirt, I always wear it with black leggings. Are comfortable, but they are tight. So it makes me feel, it makes me feel feminine and it tones down the volume of the sweatshirt. That's why perfect choice to pair with sweatshirt. Here's a second piece. This is a sweatpants. When I'm choosing the sweatpants, I make sure it's high-waisted. Because I have longer rise and I have longer torso, so I feel much more comfortable if the sweatpants have high waist. And especially when you're working from home, in your lounge wear, you're sitting in front of your desk for a long period of time, then to me, high-waisted pants are much more comfortable to be sitting all day long. And again, I do not wear sweatpants with a sweatshirt because I want a more sophisticated look. So what do you wear if you don't want to wear sweatpants with sweatshirt? This is my go-to sweater when I'm at home. This is an off-the-shoulder sweater that I purchased years ago from this brand. It's not really a brand for loungewear per se. They make this, this brand is in Brooklyn. Um, they manufacture their clothes in their factory in Brooklyn and they have their own store in New York City in Soho. And they are actually a brand that makes clothes for dancers. So the name of the brand is called Take KD Dance. Everything in this brand is comfortable. They're tight. But they're comfortable. To me, they're the best, my best option for lounge wear. Because it's off the shoulder, it shows my shoulder and it gives a look of, it gives a more feminine look. This is my go-to outfit. Here, this one is also off the shoulder design. The reason I love off the shoulder is because I have my head is bigger compared to my shoulder. Or you can say that my shoulders are narrow compared to my head. So I need to expand my shoulders. I can talk to you more about the head proportion in relation to our shoulders or the other way around. But in general, if you're like me, if your head is bigger compared relative to your shoulders, then off the shoulder is a wonderful choice to expand your shoulders. It's 100% cotton, it's tight, it hugs my body tight, but it's still very comfortable. So I always wear this one. This one is a very basic t-shirt. I wanted to show you because it's comfortable, it's made of 100% cotton, but it's not baggy, it's faded. So my whole point is, if you're at home for your lounge wear, you don't have to wear anything bad, you're shapeless. They can still be faded, and that makes you feel good, look good, feel good, and they're still super comfortable. But you can also wear it with jeans when you're at home, or, or sweatpants. This one, a wrap sweater. I wanted to show you closer. I love it because it's so soft, it goes with your body shape. It does make me look feel very feminine when I'm wearing it. That's why I prefer to wear it even if I'm at home. And of course it's 100% comfortable. Another thing I want to mention is that this is a crop length wrap sweater. I'm five foot two, I always want my proportion to look better, even if I'm at home. So when I wear this crop sweater, it makes my proportion look like my top is two th one third, and my bottom is two thirds. So that's why it's absolutely one of my favorite mm -hmm. sweaters, one of my favorite lounge wear. Mm -hmm. 
This one is a sweater, a tight sweater from Club Monaco I bought at least five years ago. And this is my go-to sweater when I'm working from home. It's such a wonderful option for loungewear because it's tight, it makes me feel, it makes me feel feminine, but it's super comfortable as well. And it goes with pretty much everything. When you wear the, something tight with a sweat, with the sweatpants that gives you a more chic look and then if I'm if I'm wearing this with a sweatpants I feel feminine. Here's another video I highly recommend if you're petite or if you want to understand how to dress for your body type watch this video and let me know if you have any questions.